Hey guys, the sun's going down in front of me so I can't do much about this lighting. I'm trying to stay in the light so I can talk to you for a moment. I'm on my way in to play some basketball again, something that I haven't done in 30 years other than a couple of weeks ago when I came up here to meet a few guys and well one it turned out there was only one guy here so we played but then I found out after the fact that I left early. We actually I actually got here an hour and a half early that day for our meeting. Turns out only two other people even showed up so I mean one other person so he played another round of one on one after I left but uh, I'm gonna get back at it again. Man, I'll tell you, basketball is one heck of a workout. I'm going to get in there and get some stretching done, get a little bit of a warm-up going so I can be ready to go. I tell you, that young man, Mr. Garcia, really put me through it a couple of weeks ago just playing one-on-one -on -one with him, so I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of sweat I can get going and hopefully get a great night's sleep tonight. I love it just as much as I did before. So I'm back home after playing basketball and it worked out pretty good. Uh, as you can see, we, got it, we were able to get a few guys together tonight so it was a lot better than just playing one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we did a lot of warming up for about 30 minutes or so and then we, just, we played uh, we played knockout for like a half hour and then we played three on three basketball for like an hour. And I gotta say one thing, 30 to 45 minutes of one-on-one -on -one is a lot harder than two hours of practicing and playing three on three. Either that or my body adapted to the second round of playing basketball a lot better than the first time. The first time I was gassed, like the whole time. This time, it just felt good to be out there. I was thankful. I was thankful to be able to do it because, I mean, this is just, this is not the kind of thing I thought I could do anymore. So it's exciting. It's exciting for me at age 50 when at 48, I didn't think I could walk around the building for 30 minutes at a time without, you know, getting gassed. To be able to get out there and play basketball with some guys who are a whole lot better at this than I am. I don't even understand the rules of basketball. I'm way too far off of my opponent. He's all over me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm allowed to do. I'm doing body checks or something like that. They were telling me and telling me I did a good job. I thought, well, I just thought I got in your way. <laughs> but I made, a, I made one shot, I think, during our, uh, our game, maybe two. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and watch the video. But I was lucky to have some good guys playing with me and they included me in it. And even the guys we were playing, they kind of understood that I didn't know what I was doing and I could see they were playing off just a little bit. So it was nice to have a group of guys that were willing to let a, a newbie like me figure out how to play the game. It wound up being close. I think we, we lost uh, 16 to 14 or 16 to 15, one or the other. So I would like to have not dragged my team down, but they were very understanding and very patient and it was just exciting once again to be able to get out there and do it. And I'm glad I did it today because I gotta be at work at six o'clock in the morning and it's nine o'clock now, so I gotta get to sleep. I get up at 4.30, I got my exercise in for tomorrow. I'm glad about that. I just gotta figure out tomorrow what to do for the next day <laughs> because I gotta work the next day as well. Now they did tell me that if I had been playing with all the other real competitive guys out there that I might have been getting a hard time, but the bottom line is, as twice I've gotten out there and done it and played with a group of guys or played with another guy and they were understanding of the fact that I was new at this. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. There will be times when you got some real competitive folks that don't want to hang around with a bunch of people that are new at things, but that shouldn't stop you from trying. It just means that maybe that wasn't your time. So all I can say is, say screw it, I'm going to get up and do it. Whatever it is that's gonna get you the exercise you need today, that's gonna let you work the body based on the food that you're putting in yourself that is getting you healthy. In my case, it's lion diet, ruminant meats, water and salt only, and that has changed everything for me.
Turn my 48 year old ready to die self into a powerhouse of youth again. I'm doing better now than I did when I was 17 and I'm loving it and you can too. All you gotta do is eat the right foods, get all that garbage that's in our food system and in our pharmaceutical system out of your body and you too can just get it done. I'll see you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? I'll tell you something else. It's nice to be soaking in a tub with Epsom salt because your body is sore as opposed to soaking in Epsom salt to try to get your bowels moving because you've been eating all the wrong crap for the past 40 years like I was before. I'm looking forward to this.